welcome to my channel what do we have here we've got a Casio watch a very special watch and this watch is used for a very special purpose it's not your ordinary Casio watch we're unboxing this very carefully and there we go the top comes off and we have Casio comes with an instruction booklet and this is a watch guarantee limited guarantee um, and if I pull this out it's got a nice little stand here a little plastic stand and what is this thing we open this up here for all to see I got my golf voice today because I've got a little bit of a throat issue that should solve itself in a couple of weeks and there we go this is the Casio thermosensor sport fishing gear watch so this watch specifically used for fishing so let me take this off here there's a very small booklet that it comes with let me open this up for a second see if I can pull this booklet out here of its home <clears throat> this is the model 5056 watch yes and it's quite a comprehensive booklet on how to set timings and moon phase and all kinds of stuff on this watch right not an easy job I would say you give yourself an evening to do this there's a thermo sensor temperature screen uh, the oh my god tons of stuff on this and this is what the watch looks like and it has as you can see <clears throat> it says Casio fishing gear this is the temperature 20 degrees it's set for Celsius which is a nice this is the moon phase indicator which has something to do with the ability to fish so fish tend to be biting in the morning and they tend to be biting in the evening and if you have the right moon phase which would be the gravity of the moon I guess um, and then the fish are going to more likely bite here it's showing two fish which means that right now is not a great time to fish um, it'll go up to four fish which means that excellent fishing time this is a uh, <clears throat> water resistant to 200 meters which is really nice it's got all kinds of alarms and everything I could press a few buttons and see what happens here so this is a mode button let's just press this mode button to see what's going on it says it's Thursday the 25th right now well that's wrong that needs to be fixed um, I know you have to to set it there's the LV so I assume that's the best time to fish right so if you were to hit the search search button right now it would go through the various times there we got one fish at 10 a.m. and then no fish no fish no fish there's two fish at three so if I were to go fishing it's 50 50 chance of me catching something <laughs> four five no fish six seven eight nine ten one fish there's the morning let's get to the fish 3 a.m. is 50 50 chance four five six and it depends on the day so it's not always the same so you'd have to change the date uh, it says 525 right now I'd have to go through the date and see if I can find a great day for five four fish fishing which is a hundred percent chance of catching the fish so I'll go out of this mode here for a second here so this is um, these are the various modes that need to be set I've got to read the manual that's a stopwatch timer I'm assuming so I think that maybe the light would start the timer and maybe stop it I'm not sure no, I think I'm wrong there there is a video on um, on the internet on YouTube that 
shows you exactly how to use this watch with respect to timing and other things. This is a countdown timer, I'm assuming. There we go. The 9959 countdown. And it would have a reset button on it. There's an alarm button. Uh, this is set to New York City, NYC, which should be good. Um, but uh, the date is the 24th today. It's Wednesday the 24th. So what it had up there before was wrong. So all kinds of uh, different options. So if I hit search again, and let's see if I get some fish here. Now these are just the different uh, up top, the different locations in the world. There's London time. So if I go back to New York City here and hit New York City, come on, come on, Moscow. Uh, so this before did not DHR, KBL. I think there's an up and down. If you hit the light, you'll go the other way. And we've got Hong Kong, Seattle, Tokyo. I'm getting close here. Cincinnati and uh, Wyoming. No, Washington, PPG, not sure. ANC, YVR, not sure. San Francisco, LAX, Denver, we're getting close. Mex, M E X, <laughs> missing in action. There we go, New York City. So don't press this button again. So there we go. So it's set for New York City. It says it's uh, 251 right now, but that's not correct. So we'll set the time later on on this. And these are various. There's the uh, the settings. So I think if I hit <coughs> 451, so it's off. Uh, but again, if I hit the fishing mode, I think it just gives me the different probabilities of fishing when I hit the mode for fishing. There's the fish mode, and again, hit search, and I'll be able to tell if there are, in fact, fish available and what time they're available. There's one fish, 10 o'clock. My best bet today would be 3 o'clock in the afternoon for fishing. So, so this is a fishing watch. I had the option to get the one that looked more tactical uh, this looks a little bit less tactical but uh, i think it's a better watch um, it's got uh, it just has a nice classic look, look to it and uh, the buttons are pretty good here the watch itself only costs uh, less than sixty dollars which is amazing for something this good uh, it says it's got moon phase it's got a thermo sensor moon phase and a world timer stainless steel back and it's the AQW 101 Japanese movement which is nice um, and it's got your typical Casio screw on back it is waterproof to uh, you know to 200 meters which is pretty amazing and it's got a this I believe is a resin strap that would unbuckle here like this and the strap should have enough uh, width on it to be able to go around so so this is my new fishing watch for all to see. Ain't this something, folks? That's about all I have to say about this until I figure out how to set it. There are some videos online on how to set this. And I think I'll refer back to them as opposed to reading the 500-page manual. That's the size of a postage stamp. So that's a quick look at it. Um, there are the screws on top here for the face i'm not sure how functional those things are but given that it's not a very expensive watch it's got a pretty cool uh, computer in there and i do plan on using it for fishing so thanks for watching my video i'm jd i am a watchmaker i normally do watchmaking videos but this came in and i figured i'd give it a shot uh, where's that 200 meter sign there we go water resistance 200 meters just throw that baby in i could probably use this as a lure just throw that in and see if the fish go for it. What do you think? Anyway, and what do we got? Alarm, semi mute. Oh, it's all kinds of crap on this thing. That'll keep me busy tonight. Thanks for watching my videos, and I'll see you next time.